what's happening, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Thank y'all for uh, thank y'all for tuning in. Just a real quick little deal I, uh, I want to go over. Uh, something I've been thinking about for the last couple of days, and that's practice the different kinds of practice. Right? Um, I want to talk about practicing mechanics versus practicing theory, and kind of explain what I mean by that. So I've got a uh, I've got a couple of weekends off, kind of in between tournaments, uh, not traveling anywhere is really, uh, so just kind of fishing around the house. Um, so yesterday I went to a lake, uh, 15 minutes down the road. I know, I mean I've fished it hundreds of times, right? And here we are. It's kind of like mid August. Um, I wanted to get on the water and I wanted to practice, but more about mechanics than it is theory. Um, and by that I mean I went out, I, you know, I pretty much know what the fish do there at different times of the year. So it's not like I was going out to um, to try to find fish or, or find a pattern or, or anything like that. You know, I wasn't going to learn anything new in that regard, but it was just, you know, shooting free throws, dude, just going out, working on casting, maybe um, some different line I wanted to try out, or a different rod, or like a different hook combination on, on uh, certain baits. So in other words, I knew where, I knew what the fish were doing, I knew where bites were going to come, uh, but that doesn't mean you can't learn and you can't practice and you can't get better from going to something like that. And I really think, you know, everybody needs that place where it's not about figuring out where they are, figuring out what they're doing, it's just that actual mechanics casting, setting a hook, um, you know, getting all that stuff dialed in. Now, that's a mechanical practice, right? Now, today, I'm headed a little bit further out of town. I'm going a couple hours away to the uh, to the Red River and to a stretch of the Red River that I've never fished. So today, it's more about putting together a pattern, finding out what they're doing. I don't know, you know, so that's, a, it's cool to work on both of those things because they're both I mean, they're really equally important. You know, you can't prioritize one of them over the other. Uh, so today, uh, just scouted an area on Google Earth. Said, okay, that looks good. There's a backwater. There's a small creek that comes in. There's good access to the main river. There's wing dams. Uh, so today is about putting together a pattern and not necessarily dialing in the uh, the mechanics. So anyway, just something to think about when you practice. Try to try to do both. Uh, if you can do both at the same time, cool. If you've got one place that you know really well, just go and work on that mechanical stuff. Then go to water you don't know to work on the theoretical stuff or the strategy. Anyway, uh, again, thank y'all for tuning in. Hope this uh, hope this kind of helps. Just something I like to think about. Thank y'all for watching.